Effects, effects, effects. It's all about effects. Adding a little effects to your mix can help to bring it to life, man, you know? But you gotta have that perfect amount of taste, the right amount of sauce in it. You can't just be having effects all over the place. So today, we're gonna take a look at how we can automate those effects to have them come on and off when we need them to. It's called automation. What up, y'all? This is your boy, Wavy Wayne. Today, we're going to take a look at automation inside Pro Tools and see how we can use it to automate some effect sense that we got set up, all right? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it, though. <laughs> so, on this track, let me uh, set this back up how it would typically we would be started off. On this uh, session here, what I've done, I've created a little uh, uh, delay slash reverb effect let me see, where is that track even at? I don't even know what the hell I called it, effects or something like that. But uh, this is what it uh, this is what it sounds like, right? It's, it's this little extra long kind of reverb. -y. So that's the effect right there. Um, as you can see, though, it, it has a nice little excitement to the mix, but I don't want it to uh, be constantly on. So what I'm going to do is use Pro Tools Automation to turn it up when I want to and turn it back down when I don't want it, all right? So typically what I'll do is go ahead and practice a couple of times first or, you know what I'm saying, just get a little vibe for what it is that I might want to do. So once you set up the effects and if you're not sure exactly how to set up your time-based effects, you can go and watch one of my earlier videos to, to peep how I would do that, all right? I, I'll leave a link in the description and up there or something like that. Um, but let me show you this effect that I have right now. It's called an extra long. Let me see if I can even find it. Let's see, where did I put it? Uh -huh. Okay. And, okay, I need to show these inserts. Cool. So basically, on this uh, extra long uh, reverb effect here, what I did, I got a deverb. I delayed that D verb with a quarter a quarter note delay. Let me go back to the reverb settings. What did I do here? I just got a large haul, 50% wet. I ain't really do too much uh, special here. Then I got my extra long delay, quarter note delay, about 35% feedback. And then I added a little bit of distortion to that. That's it, right? So I'm adding a custom effect, basically, is what I did to this thing. So I'm going to... Play with the send going over to that effect from my lead vocal track. I'm gonna play with the send going over there and just see what it sounds like coming on and off at certain parts. I did all I could. About to your crown. I gave you my all. Oh, and you let me down. I gave you my best. Oh, didn't make love to nobody. Cool, so that's the effect. Now let's see how we can automate that. First thing before you wanna start automation is go up to your automation window and make sure that the type of automation that you are going to attempt is enabled. So go to the window menu, choose automation. And then I just want to make sure that <laughs> if you see every one of mine is enabled because I don't use write mode for my automation, I can always keep it like this. But basically, if it's lit red, that means that that parameter is set for automation. And I just like to keep them all turned on because I like to move real fast. So I got my send volume enabled. If it wasn't enabled, I just click there. But make sure that if you are automating your send, that you open up the automation window by going to the Windows menu, choose an automation, and then make sure that send volume is enabled here. On my send level fader, the little send level window that pops up, or you can even do it on the track right here. It's all the same, right? So the automation mode that I'm gonna use, I like to use touch mode. So I'm just gonna simply turn over the touch mode. When you record an automation, you don't have to have the track record enabled. You don't have to be recording in your session. All you have to do is play your session back, make the changes that you want with the proper automation mode selected, and those changes will be saved. Let's check it out.
cool and just like that my automation has been recorded let's take a listen to what that sounds like i'm just going to change my automation mode back to read so then i don't risk recording over what i just did so let's go ahead and play and listen to that i did all i could So that sounds pretty good, but let's say I made a couple mistakes. So I added some automation where I didn't want to, or maybe it's too loud in certain spots. Spots. What I can do, what I can do is use my track view selector, which is right here under the tracks record enable solo and mute button. And the default track view is waveform. So I'm just going to click right where it says waveform and change over to whatever automation lane is set for what I just did. In this case, that was that extra long, right? On my send E, that's my extra long, and the level of it. And now we can even see the automation data that I have here. So on the actual little first part, you see it's a little bit louder. You can see there that it's a little bit louder than the other uh, automation spots that I did. I can easily just go ahead and turn that down a little bit. Or maybe on another one, I didn't want to automate this word at all, right? So I can just go ahead and delete that right there and then use my breakpoint automation to grab those down. Of course, I'm always using a smart tool, so that's how this stuff is really easy, all right? Um, you can even go up and grab your pencil tool and start to draw in some automation if you want to the same way, right? And this is, and let's say it all was crap, and then you just make a selection over everything and delete it i'm just gonna undo that though because i like that <laughs> cool when you're done editing your automation just change your track view back to waveform and keep on mixing all right that's the wavy way tip of the day automation is a great way to get some special effects happening through your session and have them go on and off whenever you want to uh this could also be seen, called a, a delay throw or a reverb throw whatever type of effect you're doing to it um but you know it is using pro tools automation be sure to like comment and subscribe if you got any questions leave a comment below and let me know exactly what you want me to cover and uh i'll get to it all right be dope dope